Welcome back, y'all, to Creator With You Films. Today, I want to take you on a quick journey for some green screening and After Effects with uh, Element 3D just to show you quickly how to do a scene. Um, I just did this scene for a green screen music video. Um, so I just thought it'd be something to show you real quick how the process is. And then another time, I can go more in detail. But this is the scene, actual scene. Cause they chasing highs, treating lessons parents gave them like they straight up lies. Get off. I'm gonna show you quickly um, the steps to create it. All right. You're starting off with this scene right here. So, the reason why this looks all cut out is because I created a mask, which, you, which is this here. You grab your pen and you create a mask. Anything outside of that mask doesn't matter, okay? Anything outside that mask does not matter, will not be seen. So you only care about what's seen in the, in the, within this mask. He was very isolated, so I was able to do that. Um, I would say if you're beginning at green screening, you should be a static shot. Static shot meaning that it doesn't move. Just put it on, set up the scene, put it on a tripod and leave it alone. Um, do not have your subject too close to the green screen get them as far from the green screen as you can to try to prevent spill green spill and um light the green screen separately and then you light your subject separately all right um so that's what you do so let's say you did all of that now you go to your key light i'm gonna reset it you go to your key light you go right here press the doppler and just hit something close to them, all right? Then go, it's a screen mat. Now, everything black is see-through, everything white you can see, so we want him totally white. So you come down here, it says clip white. Start clipping that white, you want all that white. You see all this is white? That's what you want. Now this, remember, anything outside of this doesn't matter. All right, so you're only worried about what's inside the mask. So you go to your black, and that's all that really matter. It don't matter if there's if this you can still see black here, if this is still white, because it's outside the mask. You worried about this mask looking good. All right, then go back, put it on intermediate, intermediate. All right. Now, put the pre-blur to like three or four. Don't really matter, tell you the truth. Now here you got screen shrink glow. Now you see this little, this little bits here. Go to screen shrink glow and bring it down some. So try to bring it, then go here. Screen softness, bring it up a little bit just to try to blend that softness a little bit. Now, you wanna go to your advanced spill suppressor. Now the advanced spill suppressor, if you see, you can see there's green here. There's still a little bit of green around him. You put this advanced spill suppressor, you're gonna see this green go away. Here we go. It just went away. Again, look at him. You see a little green there? It goes away. All right, so you wanna have that. You can put it on, um, Standard or ultra, all depends. I usually put it on ultra. You know what I mean? I'll leave it on ultra. I usually put it on ultra. So that's pretty much, he's pretty much set. Then I sharpened him a little bit. That's based off your taste though. So, all right. So then what I would do is I would get my, get my element 3d ready how you get element 3d ready you go to layer new solid pick black hit okay you're gonna get a black solid that pops up go to effect video copilot and then hit element 3d and you're gonna get this right here element 3d now element 3d does not come with after effects it's a separate third-party plugin created by video copilot so go look up video copilot element 3d or whatever 
you're gonna find it if you can buy it, if you can buy it buy it it's a great plugin to do a little more extra 3d work inside of after effects all right so once you get that see i already have the scene here you know what i mean now inside of element 3d if you see the scene is already there i'm, I'm going to element 3d real quick so you can see what's going on this is element 3d right here this is the scene this is it right here i got i got a few pictures off the internet put them there these here it's just this is just a quick raw so you can change this wall into anything i can put his face back there i can do whatever i need to do you know it don't matter but i just i just created a wall all right and then this is just TVs that I just kind of stuck back there just to make it look like a something. Just to make it look like something. And then you got the locker. The old locker here that I just kind of stuck in here. You know what I mean? And that's it. That's the whole 3D scene right here. You know what I mean? And so we have the 3D scene already. And you see him now. Inside of Element 3D, once you get that, you can go down to Render Settings. And here you can do a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things to do. Like I said, I'm going to keep this simple. But you all definitely want to go to Shadows. You want to enable Shadows and put Ray Traced on if you have that ability. And Ambient Occlusion. You want to see over here. Look at these. You see this? It looks very flat. Watch when I turn this on. You're going to see the the shadows like in real life you know the ambient occlusion all right that's very important because that helps sell the scene as well now there's other things again i'm not getting into it i'm keeping it basic all right now i got a little gaussian blur on it see just to kind of blend it it's like this is like perfect you see everything perfectly i don't like that so i put some gaussian blur on it there's other ways to do it i did that that way you can also do that with a 3d camera uh anyway that's fine so then i wanted it to be black and white now usually i would have to correct him to go with the background but because i'm doing black and white didn't really care so here we go black and white he looks great he's blended in more already just doing black and white um but that's not it now like i always stress y'all make sure you know your lighting lighting is everything i don't care if you got a red i don't care what camera you got from a red to an iphone you need to know about your lighting even in 3d it doesn't matter now it looks cool some people might just leave it like this and you might get away with it watch me throw in the lights it just came back it just came to life he's blended it even more it just came to life just by throwing them them lights look at the lights I take them off very flat put them back on just with lights. I'm telling you, light matters. So stop playing. All right. And then I added, I don't know if you can see it right here. See this little boom? I added um, dust particles. So that's what I did. I added dust particles. See, it's on, off, on. Those are dust particles. Um, one thing about After Effects. It takes a while to render, so when you're working in After Effects, you gotta have patience, cause to render a scene, to play it back, it takes a while. So that's the part of being patient and having a computer that's really on point. Um, cause it could take a little bit to, to render out. Um, I'm not about to sit here and do all that, but you're just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> So that's it. That's the scene. I just wanted to show you a quick breakdown of creating a scene. You know, if there's something you want me to go in detail with, leave it on the leave it in the bottom. Leave the the the, the question or the request in the bottom. I'm more than happy to get into it. Um, but I just wanted you to see a quick breakdown 
of how to create a scene in After Effects using Element 3D. Again, I'll go deeper into Element 3D another time. Um, hopefully this helped you. Again, any questions, ask. Make sure to share it with a friend. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell on the side so you get notified on time. I would appreciate it, all right? And like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out.